Turkish 14 year olds trying to make their way to the final. It's a good performance from her teammate in that first heat. Louise Perales, though, in lane four, Paralympic and world champion. Star as favourite for this one. That's what will Teresa Perales be thinking after seeing that time in that previous heat race. She's a very experienced campaigner, so she will have had one eye on it, but all, all the heats were about getting through, getting a lane for that final. So she won't be too phased. Heat two of the women's 50 backstroke. S5, Teresa Perales. See into an early lead, but up pops Boyachi in that outside lane. And again, very similar disability, very similar story to her teammate in the previous heat. Yes, and we will see, they will learn from each other, and that's a great thing about having a squad. And they, they, you play to their advantage, and Boyachi are doing very well actually here to stay in the lead as we enter the final 15 meters. But Teresa Perales, nice long stroke, nice powerful stroke. She'll be hoping to catch Boyachi, who's having a blinding swim here as she goes into this final five meters. And Boyachi just leading the Paralympic champion here as they come into the final stages. Just maybe running out of gas here at the end. And it is Perales will take it, but only by 0.1 of a second. A great swim from Boyachi there. 46.56 for Perales. 46.66. Well, by actually an improvement of five seconds. Great swim from the Turkish swimmer. Yeah, she'll have to be pleased with that. And then we see two ends of the spectrum. The experienced Teresa Perales against the teenage youngster from Turkey. And actually, as we saw again, we've seen so many times in some of these races how the classification system plays out. And there we saw where we actually got an incredible start, led the majority of the way. And Teresa Perales just getting on, on that final touch where she obviously had a hand to touch with and boy actually finishing with her head. And Perales be pleased to get in in first position. But Boyachi, well, she was very, very close. And Perales wouldn't have been aware really of Boyachi there in the outside lane. No, because as we see, Boyachi goes here, she's out in the outside lane. She's already quite far out of the field of vision, but then she doesn't you have any arms to use. So in backstroke, you might catch someone's hand out the corner of your eyes, but you there's no way that Teresa Perales would have seen that. But great swimming from both ladies. Teresa Perales takes heat two, 46.56 ahead of Boyachi. Natalia Chaville, 49.99 in third position. They should all qualify comfortably for the final this evening. Back to the other end of the pool, you can see there.